Let's go. All right, it's one day after surgery, and the uh, nerve block officially wore off sometime around 1 o'clock this morning, and uh, feeling a good bit of pain. Uh, shoulders difficult to get into a comfortable position. Um, got the sling on, and uh, sitting in the reclining chair here, and uh, that's kind of how I slept off and on all night. Um, definitely when the doctor tells you to take your pain pills, do what the doctor says, <laughs> because you have to start taking the pain pills before the nerve block wears off so that you can kind of get ahead of that pain curve. And I'm not real big on pain pills. don't like taking them. They make me feel sick. I ended up having to get an anti-nausea medication to go with them. But definitely uh, do, do what the doctor says when it comes to the pain pills. I think most of the pain really is related to the um, work that they do on the bone when they do the uh, subacromial decompression and the distal clavicle excision, which are the fancy terms for shaving the bone underneath so that the rotator cuff has room to heal, um, and also maybe the bone anchoring that they do. But uh, it, it definitely feels sort of like a deep, like a sharp, deep bone pain um, as far as I can discern. So anyway, that's where we are today. Um, I think today I'm, I'm technically allowed to come out of the sling and do some pendulum or Codman's exercises. I uh, may hold off on that for another day just because of the pain level and um, you know just want to give everything a chance to kind of settle down before I start moving the arm excessively. But that's where we are today and uh, I will uh, be able to change this dressing out I think sometime tomorrow and, uh, and at that point um, uh, I'll be able to um, do a little bit of, uh, of, uh, of of letting the arm dangle out of the sling, and um, and then start physical therapy next week. So looking forward to getting this thing rolling. But uh, anyway, uh, check in with you again after uh, after another couple of days. All right. So today is post op day number one, and uh, I'll have to say that the. Uh, surgeon was right in that you really do need to start your pain medications before the nerve block wears off because uh, uh, my, my nerve block wore off around one o'clock this morning and I've been at a pretty high level of pain all day. I did start taking the pain medicines regularly as much as I hate to take those things but I can tell you the, uh, the pain level was intense enough that I definitely needed the medication and uh, luckily I was able to get a little bit of sleep this evening and so the um, intense pain is not quite as acute as it was, and um, and the you know the meds have been kind of helping with that. But I got a text from the surgeon, and the surgeon said that uh, the surgery went really well, that I had a little bit of extra damage uh, in the supraspinatus or the rotator cuff muscle, so he had to use an extra bone anchor. But um, he said that he got a textbook result, so hopefully that's true. Um, I was able to get out of the sling. Uh, just a little bit today and let the arm uh, dangle. It wasn't quite a, a pendulum exercise, but it was close. And I wanted to get my elbow straightened out because with this arm slinged up like it is, it's very easy to get a stiff elbow. So I wanted to try to get the elbow straight. Um, managed to do a little sponge bathing. And, uh, and that's about it. Um, I'm going to take this, be able to take this big bulky dressing off tomorrow. And then they'll allow me to just put waterproof band-aids over the uh, the portal sites, and um, but all in all, uh, it was it was a bit of a rough day from a pain standpoint. But if you stay on top of those pain meds and just resign yourself to to a full day of, of acute post-surgical pain, then it gets kind of a lot better from there. So we'll see how it goes. I'm st still kind of sitting sitting all day, sleep, uh, sitting and sleeping uh, upright in this recliner. And that's, that's a necessity. I don't think anybody's really able to sleep flat on their back and, unless they just have a miraculously high tolerance for pain. But anyway, we'll check in uh, again probably in the next couple of days.